So let's get started. So Freedom GPT for Alpaca. Alpaca is good for following instructions. You can prompt it, like write a story, then you'll make it one. And Llama is used for text generation and completion. For example, you can prompt it once upon a time there was, and then it'll complete the story. The full model uses the models with a higher accuracy, fast, and it's a lower accuracy of the model. So I recommend just using the full model, not the fast one. Um, I installed um, Freedom GPT because the AI got a bit snarky, but you can play with it. Um, and look at the GitHub repository and how he made it. So it's made with um, TypeScript, Webpack, mostly made in TypeScript. So it's basically an electron and TypeScript. It's a bundled browser software. Imports Axios. It's an interesting project. I can build it, but it's easier to install or build it. any new releases. There's no new releases. No new releases. I'm here to help with the help section. I really didn't have to find any uses for Freedom GGP, GPT yet. And that's my explanation of it. And then you can install the installs on GitHub. They have the DMG, they have the Windows version. I'm not sure if they have the Linux version, but you don't have to. You just fork the code and then just like run it. It's on with Node if you're like, you're not using Node for like Yarn and do production. If you're familiar with that. So CD Llama makes it you can make building Llama library. And then extra Mac. And then there's a support for help. And you can dockerize it. Uh, I don't use Docker. Docker is basically like a portable. How do we say? Uh, a portable container that has a Linux box that's like a VM within the hard drive. That's uh, from Docker. This is a very important tutorial, but. So it's made of Electron. Let's see here. That's 101.8 likes and 208 forks. I'm not gonna bother with this. So this is Docker. It can run like a Redis server and um, it's auto GPT. And it's all container. Um, but I'm using auto GPT as of right now. And I'm sick of these AIs because they're not as good as chat GPT still. But chat GPT does log your prompts. Um, there's a delete feature yet, but for bar, you can delete your prompts. But it's really up to you on what projects you do and submit. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.